good boy. He's a good boy. He likes it. Belly? Get your belly? Well, thank you. We didn't get his belly before. He wants me to get it now. Sunday morning broke frosty, but it didn't matter to Aisha, who wanted to go for a hike. It's a strange thing, living in the forest with animals, spending time outside each and every day under a great canopy of conifers, and hearing the murmur of the creek, the sound of wild birds, and the hoarse cry of our roosters, and all of this, all of the time, no matter the season, no matter the weather. And in the absence of traffic beneath the powdery blue sky, I got to thinking it, it used to be that in order to experience such things, we would, well, we would have to hike. We would have to make the trip out of the city to some far off place where the thrum of traffic and sirens would finally give way to something more bucolic, some beautiful place that filled us with wonder and nostalgia for an ancestral way of living that we could only imagine. We are blessed in this moment to wake up each and every morning in the kind of place we used to run to, the kind of place that required conversations with supervisors and negotiations for time off, planning and packing, but this is our life now and it feels strange to go hiking. But Aisha wanted to go, and so we went to Roby Point. Somewhere far away, two groups of men were running a ball up and down a field in a strange ritual that had much of the world spellbound. But for us, it was the turkey vultures. It was the naked oaks, their gnarled and forked branches reaching skyward and mirrored by their thick and twisting roots snaking down into the damp earth. It was the winding path, edged with fallen leaves, debris and decay that would fertilize new life come spring. It was the tumbling rivulets, building volume and momentum on its way to the south fork of the American River was the deepening shadows and the monsters hidden therein. Sasquatch sighting. Ha! It was the ferns and the blackberry vines. The burbling cascades. And the joy of putting our whole body into the work of a water crossing. It was the plank bridge and the view of the river ahead. It was the delight of watching the trees give way to scrub and the scrub give way to rocks and sand and cobble as we met the water's lapping edge. And it was the joy of playing alongside the river, skipping stones or at least trying to and all of it free. All of this wonder, all of this inspiration, all of this refreshment, entire worlds waiting for each of us for the low, low cost of nothing. On the very next day, Aisha got to use a sawzall for the first time, and 
Andrea had treats for the goats. They like the mandarins. Treat time! Ow! That one just tried to eat my... I don't have anything. <laughs> Time to round up the chickens. Hi! You guys think I have treats? Well, you're right. Let's go get your food. Come on. Yeah. Come on. So, um, I had... Look at them. They're following me. They've identified that I usually bring food. And now, we're friends, huh? No, not really. They won't let me hold them. Come on, guys. Should we continue? Onward! Let's go! I got you guys some cucumbers. Come on! You guys want some cucumbers? Here you go. Bismillah. I count them. Make sure they're all here. One, two, three, four, five, six. six. Ah, they move. Two white ones, two gray ones, and three. Okay. And the three roosters. Alright. Then. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be back with the food. Oh, wait. I gotta close the front. Because they could escape from the front. Ha <laughs> ha! Got you first! There is great tragedy in the world, and all of it unfolds in a warm bosom of indescribable beauty. Go out. Go out and find that beauty. Do it enough, and it just might find you. <laughs>